So, Bunthering Heights. Yes. A Tale of Two Bunnies. Mm -hmm. A weekend or two ago, I interneted myself into a devastating panic attack. Okay. And it has to do with social media, complex magazine, and God giving himself a good old-fashioned disembowelment. Let me tell you the story. So, I was on Facebook. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just scrolling for the sake of scrolling. You know how sometimes you do, you're on your phone yeah. and you're just scrolling and you just keep scrolling. Side note, there's an app that I really want to get called Binky, B-I-N-K-Y. Right now it's only available for uh, Apple. Uh, it's not available for Android, but they promise that it's coming soon. But it's for people like me who just scroll for the sake of scrolling. It's a fake Facebook that just yes. gives you them content. Oh no, that's like, not the one. That's not the one. I I heard of another one. Yeah, where it is also a fake Facebook. Yeah. And what the fuck was it like? Like, all the stories were fake. Everything was fake. Everything about oh. it was fake. So there's no arguing about fake news or people being fake or anything being fake because it is all fake. Yeah. No, this one is just you're scrolling and then here's a picture of a tree. Here's a picture of a really nice statue. Here's a picture of a butterfly. Here's a picture of some kids. And it's just it. it, it yeah. I think we're talking about on as long as you yeah. want yeah, as long as you want to continue it. Basically, what I need is that. I need that. I I heard of some app. It was just kind of mentioned in passing somewhere that I've been trying to track down, but like I don't even know the name of it. But basically, yeah. it's Meow Meow Beans. Nice. Meow Meow Beans was available uh, for a while. It might even still be available, but only for uh, uh, Apple phones. I, I heard it having been described as kind of like Yelp, but for everything. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, like, the no, kid... that's Meow Meow. No. <clears throat> no, uh, they actually released the actual Meow Meow Beans app in yeah. in in relation to the the community creators made the actual app, but you can only get it with an, with an, I, with an iPhone, and I thought that that sucked. I don't yeah. have an iPhone. Apparently, iPhones get all the good stuff first. So anyway, I was just scrolling for the sake of scrolling, and I see this article. I don't even remember who originally posted it, yeah. but it, I just it came across this article, the top 10 most disturbing movies of all time. Okay. Okay, and the person who shared it was all nonchalant about it, too. Like, oh, I've seen all of these movies except for number one. But all these movies are lame. I've watched them a million times. This oh, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. So, so of course I read that's, the article. See, that's that's it, it's different. But like that's the that's the attitude that kept me from like ever actually getting into music. Yeah. You know, because yeah. anything I w I would like that just sucked. Yeah. You know, so it's like yeah. you know I, I'm not having this conversation for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but so, it's the same thing, and yeah, there's a lot of that kind of snobbish, yes, horror snobbish. fandom, yeah, thing. Yeah. So I read the article while wondering, okay, so what's number one that this apparently self-professed greatest horror? Do you have the list? Read the. Re I would be curious to hear the list if you got it. Uh, no, I don't have it here. I don't have it here, but that's because it's not about this list. Because this list, this did not freak me out. Okay. Okay. Because like the original person who shared said post had written, this list was pretty tame. Yeah. I had actually already seen a number of them. Like, number five was like the human centipede. Oh, okay. Yeah. First one. The first one. And it's like, what? That's not, that's nothing. You can literally, you can literally judge the lameness of a list by where Human Centipede falls on that yeah. list. Yeah, and and the first hostel was like number ten or number nine, and I've seen that, so I'm like, okay, this this list is pretty tame. 
The list was also pretty short. It was only the top 10 most disturbing uh, films of all time. There wasn't a lot of description as well. In fact, it was only like one tiny paragraph for each movie that they listed on there. So, so... Yeah, it, human it, human centipede is disturbing in that I want my money back way. Yeah, that's how yeah. it's disturbing. It's disturbing in that this really sucks way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I was surprised. Like most, the top ten most disturbing films of all time. So I I click this article in the hopes of kind of being freaked out and finding out about these movies I had never heard of. And then I'm like, number 10, Hostel. Oh, uh, wait, what? Number nine, uh, Blood Feast. Wait, that doesn't even, that's like nothing. Like number two is Cannibal Holocaust. And it's like, damn it, I already know so many of these, you know? I, yeah. was, I was pissed off. The article's and, also... And the, and the other thing is there is that it, it seems like some people who do do lists don't understand the words they're using because you could see that disturbing means just one particular thing to them. Yeah. You know, where disturbing does not even necessarily have to be a horror movie at all. Yes. Yes. So I can't, th I can't think of offhand yeah. Sophie's choice. I've never seen it, but I imagine that's a pretty motherfucking oh, yes. disturbing yes. movie. Yes, very much so. That's that, you know? that's a good, yeah. How how do you not get disturbed? I, yeah. I I find the idea disturbing, you know. So yeah. right off the bat, I have a problem with their title. Yeah. So the article seemed a bit vague in regards to its number one choice. It didn't have a lot of description. It it was confusing. <laughs> They had this really grainy black and white picture from the film, so I so I Wikipedia'd it, okay. uh, it, and and then once I found out about the film, I immediately sent you the information. It's a black yes, and white film. Okay. We got. I I so, haven't watched it yet, but yeah. So begotten. It's a fucked up film. It's very, 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 very loosely. It's important to state how many varies there are here. That's twelve varies. Yeah. Very loosely based on the book of Genesis. Loose as a Kardashian's VJJ. Loosely based on the book of Genesis, it basically plays like an Eli Roth student film. Yeah, I could tell you, the audience who's listening to this, what the film is about. However, by not knowing what the filmmaker intended, you really do take a one way bus straight to Crazy Town, which is what I did. I actually looked it up on Wikipedia and said, Oh. Okay, it, it was done by the guy who made Shadow of the Vampire. Okay, that film's a real trip. Yeah. It, okay, so this is a gory art film. And before I read the synopsis, before I read the synopsis, I went ahead and looked for the film on YouTube, expecting it to not be there, because apparently it's a gory art film. But sure enough, right there, boom, there's Begotten. So I watched the film without fully reading the Wikipedia page and learning what the film was about. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, let me tell you, watching this without knowing the creator's intent, you really do sort of panic and go like, what the fuck? Yeah. And watching, this is like, what the hell is he? Oh my God, what? what? But, but, watching this black and white gory Bible allegory with no backstory did not throw me into a devastating panic attack. Okay, we okay. haven't gotten there yet. We have not gotten there yet. Sure, it set the table, you know. Yeah. It made uh, put out the napkins and the silverware, but no, it did not get me there. There's more. So when I finally read the entire of uh, Begotten Wikipedia page, I, I I realize what the fuck I just watched. Okay, that's what their intent is. Okay, I never would have known that just by watching the film. By watching the film, you just think you're watching this bizarre art snuff film. It's like, really fucked up. But, on the Wikipedia page, it says that Begotten 
which was number one on the top ten most disturbing films of all time article that I read from some guy's Facebook page. A, on the Wikipedia page, it said that Begotten was actually number 23 in Complex Magazine's list of the top 50 most disturbing films of all time. Okay. And that's 40 more disturbing films than the stupid list that brought me there in the first place. And what's what's that's, more... That's the kind of movie I just kind of have to psych myself up to a bit. Not as yeah. much as Serbian film, because I'm still working on that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But to psych, so, uh, psych myself up for it, you know, because it's sounding to me similar to, like, Tetsuro the Iron Man. Yes. Where it's just... It's just That's a fucking weird-ass movie. An, an assault of fucked-up images... Oh yeah, with no with no story. I mean, there's, I, I mean that's that, that's not sarcasm. There is yeah. no story. The whole movie is just blasting you with these fucking images. Yeah. So that's what this sounds like, and you know that takes a little. That takes a little prep work to get to. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, so the top fifty most disturbing films of all time from Complex Magazine. 40 more than the stupid list that brought me there in the first place. And what's more is that Begotten, this supremely fucked up film, it was only number 23 on this list. Okay. Meaning that there were 22 other films made that were worse than Begotten. So, of course, I had to pour over this article like I'm a fucking grad student doing a paper, you know? <laughs> And kudos to Complex Magazine, because the original article, what started all this, it had a small little paragraph of vague descriptions for their article. So basically, like that first article was clickbait, but Complex Magazine had three or four or five lengthy, detailed, descriptive paragraphs about the film and the plot and yada, yada, yada. I've been using yada, yada, yada a lot more ever since B-Movie. <laughs> as, as I'm like a, I'm, li I'm like a, I'm like a, a, a victim. I'm like a abuse victim. Yeah. Can I get a kiss? Oh, thanks. Thank you. Love you, honey. You okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, it's in my car. It's in my car. Here's my. Eleanor. Did Maxwell get his car seat? She's just going. That's what she does now. All. She she wants to do when she goes outside is play in the street. Uh, Maxwell's car seat is right here. One of the armrest thingies is missing. Somewhere in, in the house. Uh, find the armrest thing, please. Okay. So I'm pouring over the article. The article has these descriptive paragraphs about the film yeah. and about the plot and yada, yada, yada. However, while Complex Magazine did a much better job of describing the fucked up films, it would stop short when it came to describing a shocking twist ending like, uh, like Martyrs, you know? Yeah. It would stop short of describing everything, and it would talk to you about the making of the film and who made the film and the plot of the film and the fucked up scenes in the film and then it would say and then of course the ending is a twist so shocking that we won't reveal it here so of course I have to go out and find out what the twist is yeah uh, of course I had to I, I had to look for these films <laughs> on Wikipedia and whenever possible, also look online for a copy to watch. What I'm saying is it was a really fun weekend for me. Yeah. So I, I had a fun time. Uh, uh, Ichi the Killer. That was a touching date movie that I was really excited to watch. Ichi the Killer. I haven't. I, it, it's weird Japanese stuff. Yeah. I remember finding it kind of, kind of amusing. Yeah. But I don't remember why the guy kept crying through the whole thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? 
1999's <clears throat> Japanese film Audition. That was a heartwarming romance. Audition. Audi- no, Audition no is the Japanese human centipede in yeah. that it gets yeah. a lot more praise than it really fucking deserves. Yeah. A Serbian film was a hilarious knee slapper. Mm-hmm. And 120 Days of Sodom. Yes. That was number one on the list. And it's a fucked up film based on a book that were it written today, the author would be arrested and instantly put to death. Yes. Basically. Well, it was based on the Marquis de Sade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The the maker of the film was arrested, I believe. Yes, I believe so too. But anyway, anyway, Huckle there's Bunny actually Finn. there's actually a lot more depth to that movie than is apparent on the surface. It's yeah. it, it, it's a completely horrible. Have you seen Salo? Uh, I I watched the majority of it over the weekend. It's one of the many things that yeah. uh, sent me into a really dark, deep spiral. Yeah, it, it, it. I mean, it's a completely horrible film. Yes, set at basically a Nazi SS um, orgy, weekend yeah. orgy. You know, and this shit eating. It's that's. Yep. F- for me, frankly, the rest of the movie, I'm okay with. When they came to the shit, the shit eating, that's when I freaked out. But the whole movie was the director's statement against his own fascist Italy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, I un- so yeah, I understand what he was going for. Yeah, yeah, but still, it's really fucked up. So anyway, uh, Hucklebunny Finn, I have a few of these movies saved for future use here on the Pope on film. I found that like four of the 50 most disturbing films of all time were in fact on YouTube. Yeah. A uh, free and uh, unedited. So future in the future, way, way, way in the future. So uh, don't say I never did anything for you. Don't <laughs> say that. It, don't say I never did nothing for you. Because that's bad grammar, and we're better than that. You're on the Pope on Film yes. podcast. So exactly the story when, did the, when did the panic start? Um, Like, what film were you in, on? It, it was round about, like, my third film. Like, I was watching... I was watching... Like, I don't remember which film. I think it was Gummo. Gummo? Okay. I was watching Gummo, and it wasn't that Gummo was that fucked up. It was the fact that that was, like, the fourth film. And at that point in time, I was just, oh, God, what have I done with this weekend? Gummo Gummo is the... Gummo is like the human centipede of the film student world. Yeah, that's a good... It's it's another movie that gets way fucking too much credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the story has a happy ending, though, because my wife saw that I was lost in my own head, which yeah. happens a lot. So we went out, just her and I and Eleanor, and, and uh, you know, we went and got dinner and walked around. And sometimes I need to be wrestled out of my own head. Yeah. You know? So that's good. My wife is awesome. We even did it a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah? And I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but that's about as rare as, like, a Mewtwo. <laughs> just to be clear, that's... Very rare. That's <laughs> medium rare. That's incredibly rare. Yeah. So, yay for us. Anyway, uh, moving on. No, uh, no, no. I find this fascinating. I think I think that this would make like an awesome game show. What? You know, like a 13-episode game show 
we will collect mm. a bunch of disturbing movies and we'll rig you up all clockwork orange style okay and each episode will be you watching a particular movie you know <laughs> and the contestants will pick the movie in which you finally freak out that is that 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 would be a solid idea that would be a solid idea you know so, so if you pick the movie that reverend steve freaks out on you will win yeah. valuable prizes the the complex magazine article was pretty damn impressive cuz the stupid one that i read first were like here are 10 of the most uh, uh messed up horror movies of all time but then the complex magazine article they obviously tried harder cuz like like number 29 is like here's a really fucked up uh holocaust documentary mm -hmm. you know they didn't stay in the world of documentaries like number 3 or number 4 on their list was pink flamingos and that's a perfect fucking yeah movie to put on your list of most disturbing films of all time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because it is disturbing. It's not a horror movie, but it's fucking perfect for that goddamn list. Although, if I ever get to meet him, I am having a serious fucking talk with John Waters. Yeah. Because I had been I had been hearing about Pink Flamingos for years and years. Before I finally was like, okay, let me watch Pink Flamingos, okay? And you know that if anybody mentions Pink Flamingos to you, there is one and only one thing they are going to bring up, okay? Yes. And I have heard John Waters say it himself. I am going to have to grab him, look him in the eye, and say, you lying motherfucker, that asshole wasn't singing. <laughs> nice. It wasn't. It was yeah. puckering along to a song. <laughs> I want to read his book. He recently wrote a book. Yeah. That I want to read. And um it's a book about the history of uh hitchhiking culture. Okay. And the way that he wrote it was by literally just hitchhiking across America. Okay. And at first he didn't tell anybody that he was working on the book until a famous ass band is driving to their next concert. I forget the name of the band, but the band is just driving to their next gig and they're like, holy shit, I think that was I think that was John Waters. Pull over, pull over. You need a ride? Are you John Waters? Holy crap, it's John Waters! <laughs> you know, like, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I could tell if it was John Waters hitchhiking. Even going, like, 65, I'm pretty sure. I'm like, holy shit, that's John Waters. Well, I think for me, it would be more like, holy shit, it's Slender Man. Oh, no, wait. Okay. It's only John Waters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be like the I'd be like the woman who works at the desk of the drug rehab place at Ed Wood. Yeah. Oh, you gave me the willies. Hey, you look like John Waters. <laughs> hey, you look like that pink flamingos guy. <laughs> My name is John Waters. And I wish to commit myself. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs>